Hello, all my fellow damn dirty nerds. Uh, currently in Dallas. I'm sorry it has been a while. Um, I actually went home for my 10 days because uh, that's kind of the deal I have with the company I work for. I'm on the road two months and then I go home for 10 days. Uh, so that's what I did. Uh, and um, to be quite honest, I just didn't feel like shooting a video while I was at home. Uh, so that's kind of why I didn't. And then I came back to work and came, and I've been driving for the last few days and it's like I'm just... Now I just now I feel like uh, actually recording something. Uh, if I keep looking around, that's because I'm actually trying... I'm waiting for a uh, relay. So another driver's supposed to show up here with a trailer I'm supposed to take. And then... Um, so yeah, he's supposed to be here soon. So I decided to just kind of kill some time and uh, maybe talk to you guys a bit, you know? I'm having a pretty good morning, you know? I got some good sleep last night. That, that really does not happen in, in trucks. Uh, just so you know, uh, we have really, like, I don't know how it is in uh, most, in a lot of trucks. I can only speak from personal experience, but the mattresses I get with the with the company I worked for and the company I worked for before, they give us really thin mattresses, you know? Um, and either they're, like, those, um, like, memory foam mattresses. So, basically, after, like, five days, uh, they're basically just flat, and you're basically just laying on a piece of hard plastic, of the bunk or you know uh they're spring mattresses so the springs really start kind of digging into you so it, so yeah sleeping in these things is really kind of hard but uh, i got some good sleep last night that's really i i'm i that hard that hardly ever happens so i always enjoy it when it happens and then um okay so that's not the driver i'm looking for um and then so i woke up this morning i felt good cooked myself an omelet um that was that's what I have for breakfast. Uh, in case you're wondering, yes, I do. I have a one burner stove, one burner uh, camp stove in here. Um, I don't, it's not really even really a stove. It's it's literally just like a stand, and then the propane tank, and then the uh, the grill, and then the grill part. And then I have a uh, three, and then I have like a, you know, a three, you know, it has multiple pieces, but I have like you know a three, a set of pans, um, of camping pans that I use to cook things in. And I just cook, and I, just, I cook my eggs in a, in a bag. That cuts down on dishes. Uh, especially if I'm in a place where I'm at right now. Um, not, I'm not, I, I never like reveal specifically where I'm at, just for safety reasons and whatnot. But basically I'm in a drop yard here in Dallas and there's no place to really wash a dish. So in, in times like this, I cook what I, what I can boil in a bag, okay? So that's really kind of it. Uh, so uh, what are we going to talk about today? I've already talked about. Um, ugh, already kind of talked. I've kind of talked about my morning. Kind of bored you guys with that. Um, I had a video idea a few minutes ago. I forgot what the hell it was. I never plan these things. That's, that's kind of it. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I don't really think much before I start recording. You know, I like I like these things being uh, as real as can be. So uh, if I I realize if I start planning things ahead of time, I start trying to come up with lines. I start trying to think of ways I could be funny, and it never really works out that well because I'm never as fun as I think I am. Uh, Ten years of marriage, my wife has laughed at my jokes maybe three times. So, um, <laughs> um, so yeah, what are we gonna talk about? Well, uh, let's go ahead and talk about some books. Uh, I think that I think now is a good time to talk about books. Um, I think without a doubt, uh, I'm a huge fan of urban fantasy. Uh, I really love the, uh, you know, it's a world I can recognize. Um, and then throw in the mystical elements. And it really is kind of fun just kind of, just kind of to see, um, you know, how the mystical can change everyday life. Uh, and one of my favorite trilogies... Uh, and this is actually really most, and this is not just due to the writing. The writing is excellent, but it really has to do with the voice actress of the audiobooks. Uh, I really, I actually, I don't know who did the audiobooks. Uh, I'll have to look that up. I'll, I'll try to look that up uh, once I'm done recording. I'll put her name probably in the, in the um, description down below. Uh, but my favorite, one of my favorite trilogies uh, of urban fantasy is the All Souls trilogy by Deborah Harkness. Oh my God! It's absolutely wonderful. A really beautiful trilogy. Uh, wonderfully written. Uh, beautifully voiced. As I as I said, um, and I forget your name. I'm very sorry. Uh, who, the voice actress who does the narration, but she does a beautiful job narrating. If you like, 
I would recommend, I, obviously I recommend anytime reading a book. Because that way you can kind of get your own, have their own voice in your head. But if you're, if you have a busy schedule or if you're like me and, you know, you have a job where it's like you're able to listen to audiobooks while you're working, get the audiobook of the All Souls Trilogy. Phenomenally narrated. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and so, uh, what is, what is the trilogy about? Well, um, it really is kind of, um, a forbidden love, about, really kind of about a forbidden love. Um, the first book, um, is, uh, what is the first book called? Damn. I know the second book is Book of Night, and the third book is the Book of Life. Uh, what? Damn, I completely, I'm, I'm totally like, to I'm, I'm like, <laughs> oh, um, A Discovery of Witches, that's it, that was the first book, uh, A Discovery of Witches, they actually did, uh, are do they're actually doing a TV show about this, about the trilogy, um, the first season kind of follows the book, but unfortunately they cut out a lot of stuff, so it really does feel almost like a different thing, I mean, you, you see, you see the resemblance. The names are the same. A lot of what happens in the in the show happens in the books. They did kind of tweak a few things, but um, I'm not really a big. But it, but I like it. But at the same time, you know, they really they really needed a longer season. I think there's only like eight episodes in the first season. I haven't seen the second season yet, but uh, they really need a longer season. But um, so what happens in uh, a discovery of witches? Uh, how to talk about this without giving away too much. You know, that's that's kind of the biggest thing I've, I've, I've thought about uh, when it comes to these videos. So, um, really, you, you follow a woman by the name of Diana Bishop. And, um, real quick, uh, kind of, just to kind of set up the world, the world is basically the same, but there are uh, four, be uh, four um, races in the world. You have humans, obviously, then you have witches, vampires, and demons. Now, when I say demons, I don't mean they're evil. I don't mean they're spawns of hell, okay? Uh, here, here's kind of how they work. Witches do magic, you know, obviously. Uh, vampires uh, drink blood and live virtually forever. Uh, also, super strength, super speed, all the happy fun stuff. Um, they really don't have... They really. That's really kind of it in terms of uh, powers. They also have super senses... Uh, so, but, uh, other than that, there's no turning into mist, there's no turning into bats, um, and, uh, they're really hard to kill, but it's not out of the realm of possibility, okay? Um, so, there's, there's that, and then, uh, and then demons. Demons are not, like I said, they're not the spawns of hell. They are, um, really mad geniuses is probably the best way to describe them. Um, they're, they're artists and writers and designers and, uh, they're people who see the world in, um, a, in a unique way. So, uh, really they're, uh, they kind of hint in the books that some of the greatest writers and composers and artists were demons, you know, the really eccentric people that, uh, kind of lived on the outskirts of society because they acted odd, but they created uh, the greatest works of art, you know. Uh, so that's really what a demon actually is. Really, they're 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 kind of like right on the edge of uh, brilliance and insanity. That's that's really kind of where they sit. Uh, unfortunately, they, they really don't get too much of a presence in the trilogy, um, which is kind of I'm kind of okay with because honestly, um, I mean they're 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 okay, but. They're just, it just doesn't seem as interesting. It's, it's like, unfortunately, how is that? How does that make them a creature? You know, you never really kind of. It's like, how does it? How does that change them? You know, how does that make them not human? Because you know, you have humans that can be the same thing. So it's like, where, like, where does the human humanity end and the demon begin? So it's like, it's really hard to tell. Um, but anyway, in the first book, you follow uh, Diana Bishop, and she is a witch. Uh, she does not really use her powers all that much. Um, she really likes, really wants to kind of be human. Uh, not necessarily, well, yeah, she kind of does want to be human, you know. She wants, she doesn't really want magic to be the center of her world. Uh, she comes from a long line of witches, and then, um, one day she's in, uh, she is in, uh, Oxford, in, um, England, and, uh, she's studying 
uh, for and she's right and she's trying to write a paper for a presentation, and she comes and she uh, requests a book that comes to her, and it's a magical tomb, and unfortunately, it's a tomb that for some reason only she has been able to call up. Uh, everyone else. Every other creature in the world believes that this tomb has either been lost or doesn't exist. And so this kind of puts her in the center of attention. And one of the beings that comes to her side is Matthew Claremont, who is a vampire. Um, I absolutely love his character. And so what you end up having is this brewing romance between a witch and a vampire. And it's a forbidden romance, obviously. There's political intrigue. Um, you get a little bit of... Um, not so much action, I would say, but you get drama, you get suspense. It, it's really, it's really uh, well done. Um, and you meet these amazing, you have an amazing cast of characters who's all different. Um, and you kind of, you, you're kind of able to see um, really kind of the, like the similarities between the races. So that way you're kind of like, oh, okay, so th that's how the witches kind of are. That's how the vampires are kind of are. That's how the demons kind of are. So you really kind of, you really kind of do see similarities between them. Um, and uh, so I know that's kind of like the bare bones of the book. But like I said, I don't, I don't like the idea of giving things away. I really hate that. And um, I first read this book because I heard that the TV show was coming out. And the TV show looked interesting, so I wanted to read it. I fell in love with the book. It was absolutely wonderfully written. I love the characters that she wrote. Um, there does seem to be, a li uh, in later books, there does seem to be kind of this, um, how, how, how do I put this? There does seem to be kind of, um, oh, what's the phrase? Um, uh, breaking of canon, you know, you know what I mean. Like some of the facts kind of seem to be changed in different in the, in the uh, later two books. So I think she kind of changed her mind on a few details. But that's I'm totally fine. It doesn't really like pull you out of the world, but uh, it's just kind of like something you guys want to keep an eye on. Um, but oh, I absolutely love uh, this series. Um, and I love the direction that it goes because. There's a lot, there are a few surprises that occur that are absolutely wonderful and absolutely heartbreaking. And there's a, and this is a, this really is a, a book series that can make you feel the emotion, especially in the second books two and three. Um, oh, it's, oh my God, absolutely wonderful. All right. So, um, yeah, that's kind of. I know that's kind of the bare bones. Um, let's see. Uh, you, you, like I said, you meet some interesting characters. Um, you know, you have Matthew. You have um, his son, um, Marcus. Um, their associate... What's that doing in there? Uh, you have their um, associate, Miriam. All three of them are vampires. Um, and I'll probably detail in, uh, probably when I talk about the third book, kind of like issues that I have with some of the things that goes on. But um, it really is a book that I really do encourage it. Absolutely, positively, 100% encourage it. You guys should read them. Absolutely wonderful. All right. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, I know this is kind of a shorter video than usual. I'm really trying to cut down on my... Um, watch times both on these videos and the ones I do on my personal Facebook um, so that when I you know post videos for friends and family it just takes forever for these things to upload and uh, honestly my phone likes to do this whole oh your storage is full so um, yeah I, like I like I keep saying I keep I, keep, I record these on my phone so it is what it is but uh, so that's it for the day um, <laughs> I know I said that already um, once again give this or give this a read it absolutely is beautiful um, and I will uh, probably get back to you guys here in a few days. And um, I might talk about the sequel. I might hold off on the sequel, give people time to read the first one. It really kind of depends. I don't really know how many people are going to see this video, but um, I really hope you know, I can inspire at least one person to read this. It really is worth the read. All right. So anyway, uh, once again, last time, that, that's it for the day. <laughs> and um, you guys go ahead and you have a nice one. Um, keep reading, have fun, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff every the other YouTuber says. You know, you guys know what to do. You know, um, we live in the age of YouTube. You guys know what to do already. All right. So, um, yeah. And, um, 
try to enjoy your day.